and I'll do my best to repeat your questions into the microphone so that everyone can hear. Um, so to begin simply, how did this film come to life? What inspired this story? And why did you want to tell it now? Uh, first of all, I would like to share with this moment with uh, uh, two important persons that are uh, we with us, the producers of the movie, Attilio De Razza and Pierpaolo Verga. Maybe there is some question even for you. And um, I won't say, voglio fare un ringraziamento particolare a Carla Gattani di Film Italia, a tutto il suo staff, perché svolgono un lavoro fondamentale di diffusione del nostro cinema nel mondo. Ed è soprattutto grazie a loro che siamo qui. Grazie. I want to thank uh, Carla Cattani and Film Italia and all of the, the staff there because they do a wonderful job in uh, spreading the word and helping us um, uh, bring cinema, Italian cinema around the world that we wouldn't be here without them. So thank you very much. L'altro film, the precedent film that we have shown here in Toronto, that is invisible, parlava di separazione. In questo film volevamo affrontare il tema della riconciliazione. Riconciliazione soprattutto con una parte di se stessi. Um, I was expecting, mi aspettavo un discorso più lungo. Our previous film that we uh, brought here to Toronto two years ago was called uh, Indivisible and it talked about separation. This film uh, we wanted to talk about reconciliation, especially with yourself. You are faster than me. <laughs> I was interrupted by the microphone thing. <laughs> Um, okay, so actually on that subject, your film Indivisible, uh, which played at TIFF 2016, um, it was also set in Caserta, um, done in the Neapolitan dialect, as I understand. Um, can you talk about the role that this setting plays um, in your work, and, and specifically this location along the Volturno River? Sì, questa è... Um, qu questo luogo, per me, Oggi è l'emblema dell'Italia. Credo che se si vuole davvero comprendere a fondo che cosa sia l'Italia oggi, bisogna farsi un giro sulla Domiziana e possibilmente anche sul fiume Volturno. Um, this area for me is emblematic of all of Italy. If you want to understand Italy today, you should go down, travel down the Domiziana and especially the uh, Volturno River. È un luogo mischiato, una terra mischiata come, come è mischiato il nostro sangue. L'Italia oggi è così per chi vuole impedire che altri arrivino in Italia è tempo di farsene una ragione. Non si può fermare il desiderio dell'essere umano di muoversi. Uh, it's a mixed uh, location, our uh, blood is mixed, uh, that's the way Italy is today, and those who want to prevent others from uh, having the desire to uh, arrive here, they have to accept it. Uh, you can't stop uh, other people's desire to move. Uh, one question for Pina. Um, can you talk about what you found compelling about Maria, your character, and how you approach the role? Ah, eh, mi piaceva la storia di una ragazza semplice, di una ragazza che potesse essere veramente una, la nostra vicina di casa e che potesse avere, come tutti noi, un grande dolore e che poi a un certo punto si ritrova a dover fare i conti con questo dolore. Mi piaceva che fosse forte, ma allo stesso tempo fragile, come tutti gli esseri umani. Um, e mi piaceva soprattutto l'idea che con una storia semplice 
uh, ci potesse uh, veramente poi far arrivare un messaggio che fosse universale. Voglio raccontare questa cosa, ci provo in inglese. Eh, Stefano, vieni con me, magari ci aiuti? Con te ce l'ho. Ma non mi sto Stefano. Ah, sai, Alberto. Eh, Alberto, sorry. Stefano. Oh, Stefano. Okay. We can change, change him if you want. Ok, please Stefano, come here. Stefano, yes, Stefano no. I can be Stefano. Your brother, a, your beautiful brother. If that's your kinky, if that's your kinky thing, I'll be Stefano. Uh, anyway. Uh, Pina, uh, what I found in Pina, uh, what I found compelling is the fact that she's a simple girl, like many of us, and she has uh, so, uh, this uh, compelling pain inside of her that she has to deal with, and she does deal with at the end. Uh, she's a strong girl, but she's also fragile, the way uh, we all are. Uh, and it's a simple story, and I love the fact that it has a universal message. Okay. <laughs> no, I'll be Stefano. <laughs> I'll come here and help me because I want to tell you something in English, okay? I want to I try. I want to try, okay? Uh, the first a few months ago. Alcuni mesi fa. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a few months ago, um, we make a, a, project, a projection, okay, for our screening. screening for a friend of mine. And when we finished the film, the girl told me that uh, I don't know what a kind of sensation I feel. But I want to come back at home now, and I want and I want to tell when I, I want to uh, come back in my family and want to tell us that I love them. And now I want to embrace my family, and I and I want to become a better person. Okay, for me it was a better than Oscar, believe me, because uh, it's a, a very 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 good reaction, and I was really happy. I don't know what the uh, sensation what of you feeling you you feel now. What the uh, sensation? Okay, you feel now, grazie Steph. But <laughs> if you now come back at home to tell your fa to, t to say your family that you love them, for me is a very, very good reaction. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> do, you have a so, do, you, do you have a question? Just raise your hand up high. Sure, I'll ask a question. Right here. Io mi prendo il lusso di fartela in italiano la domanda. Um, Aspetta che traduco. <laughs> <laughs> Come hai detto, la nostra regione, diciamo, della provincia di Salerno, fa da sfondo ai tuoi film, ho visto anche i visibili. Um, sono scene di una regione a volte martoriata, disperata, ma dove c'è sempre la speranza di risorgere, di rinascere. È questa l'immagine della Campania e dei ritagli in genere che senti e che vuoi trasmettere al mondo? Do you want to do it? Or am I? I'll take this one. I can, if I'm Stefano, you can do it. Time. Uh, so anyway, you uh, you made your films. I saw uh, Indivisibili, and um, you made a film set in Salerno as a background. Uh, it's a region that it's desperate and has uh, undergone a great deal of uh, hardships. Uh, but I always perceive that there's a hope for a resurrection, for rebirth, uh, the region of Campania and Italy as well. Is this the message that you wanted to send with your films? Sicuramente la, quella terra è una terra meravigliosa che ha subito molte violenze, eppure non ha perso completamente la sua bellezza. Eh, a volte ho la sensazione che l'intera umanità così, sia così, eh, ovvero meravigliosa e violentata al tempo stesso, e che il mio desiderio è che non perda la speranza di ricostruirsi. Uh, yes, it's a wonderful land um, that has endured uh, an enormous amount of violence, but I feel that it hasn't lost its beauty uh, completely. Sometimes I feel that it is a kind of a metaphor for humanity because people are uh, wonderful, uh, but they're oft often victims of uh, violence. And I, uh, I hope that there is this desire in people to rebuild. We have a question at the very back there. Yeah, thanks. Uh, well, first of all, thank you for the film. Uh, Bello filmetto, great performances. And uh, uh, just the question is, does this happen in Italy? Is this based on a true story? Does this actually take place? These things like this happen. The question is, does this happen in Italy? Is this based on a true story? 
not strictly. Uh, I, will, I always begin from something that it's uh, real and I try to, to, to discover in this reality what is true. Sometimes the, the realism of the mise-en-scene is not enough. And um, I try to go over the reality to find the truth. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> we have a question here. So the question is uh, about the gender roles in the film and if there was any, any gendering of the idea of evil. Qualcosa è voluto, qualcosa è venuto da solo. Io sono cresciuto, sono stato cresciuto da tre donne, quindi la mia tribù di riferimento è stata tutta femminile e quindi mi viene naturale attribuire alle donne tutti i ruoli, sia quelli positivi che negativi. E in più... Oh, Avevo voglia di costruire un mondo dove gli uomini sono scomparsi, sono andati via da qualche parte e bisogna andarli a, riprendere, a riprenderli per metterli davanti alle loro responsabilità, per uh, imporgli di interpretare finalmente un ruolo dignitoso. Um. Some of, the, some of that is deliberate and some of that just came out uh, during the shoot. I was raised by three women, so that's my point of reference. That's the tribe, an all-female tribe that I grew up in. So I uh, decided and I wanted to attribute uh, all roles to women, positive and negative, good and evil. Also, I wanted to build a world where uh, the, the men have disappeared so that there's that desire to grab them, bring them back force them to accept their responsibilities uh, and impose upon them uh, a more dignified role. Question over here. So the question, <laughs> the, the question is, um, if it's difficult to have a film like this made in Italy, um, and then as well for the two of you, what the dynamic is like um, working together as a married couple? Uh, no, it's not difficult, not for us, uh, hopefully. Um, the production team is all here. It is me and but uh, Attilio is producer as much as me of this movie. is more expert producer and um, Eduardo also is producer of this movie. Uh, we hope, hopefully have the support of an um, important distribution in Italy that uh, financially supports this, this kind of production. But um, if we are able to do that now, it's because we have been working hard until this moment. Uh, this is our third movie together. Eduardo did uh, another movie before that. And thanks to, um, probably thanks to the work we, we've, we've done in the last five years, maybe now it's easier for us to make uh, such a strange movie, such an intense, uh, revolutionary somehow kind of movie, not really uh, s kind of movie you can easily find in the market in Italy or all around the world. Hopefully with Indivisibly we've been traveling, now Eduardo is getting uh, noticed quite a lot all over the place. So uh, this one was not really hard to make, 
every movie is hard to make, but mm -hmm. it was not as hard to produce. And but it's it's not this one. It's the the work we've done in the last five years with Attilio and Eduardo. Mm -hmm. It was not hard to make this movie. Mm -hmm. 34 days under the rain, the snow. <laughs> uh, yeah. With the main character uh, in the mud. Fango, let me see. Yeah. She, she, she was glad uh, about this. Yeah. Um, working, working with my wife uh, was a, a very intense experience. Uh, as daily life. <laughs> and, uh, because everything is uh, much stronger, uh, all the feelings are um, directly connected, and so you feel, I feel uh, like uh, a part of me, so when uh, I say to an arm to do something, if the, that arm doesn't do it, uh, I, I'm much more upset. <laughs> so this is <laughs> Croce Delizia, come si dice? Cross and Delight. Cross, and, and, cross and Delight Just work cross. together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, but uh, I know that for you it's everything was was good. Huh? So, yeah. You won't confirm this, everything was uh, wonderful. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> When finish the film, I, w I want uh, a divorce. We want to know to be. You, you told me uh, after the promotion. Now I know why you call me Stefano. <laughs> Come on, Stefano, is a question. Come on, huh? Mm, I want the divorce. I have to wait two months. Almost, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, just wait. Okay, see you in December. I come back in Toronto and I can sing. Okay, thank you. They are preparing for that. We have a question here. Are you making a So the question is, is, is the film making a comment about African people being marginalized in Italy? Um, and as well, who are uh, the actors who are playing these characters? Because they're wonderful. Non ho capito la prima parte, sono immaginati gli africani in Italia? Questo è il commento che vuoi fare con il tuo film? Parlare della comunità. Quella è una parte specifica di Africa che si riversa a Castel Volturno, soprattutto arrivano lì persone dalla Nigeria e soprattutto da Benin City. Parliamo di circa il 90% degli africani che sono presenti a Castelvolturno. Considerate che Castelvolturno ha 25.000 abitanti regolari e poi ci sono 25.000 irregolari. La maggior parte di questi sono nigeriani. Ed è una parte così importante della popolazione che è, è quasi difficile definire emarginata perché sì, in realtà vivono alla riva destra del Volturno in una zona precisa perché lì ci sono molte, molti mobili vuoti che vengono occupati da queste persone c'è scarso controllo da parte della legge è un territorio molto vasto che è difficile da controllare Però sì, loro hanno interpretato dei ruoli molto, si molto simili a quello che sono nella vita. E mi faceva piacere metterli in scena così come sono, uh, cercare di, di riflettere le loro attitudini nella costruzione di quei personaggi. E vivono davvero dove li, li avete visti nel film. È una zona del volturno che è la riva a destra che è un po' meno chic della riva a sinistra. Yeah. 
you. Uh, yes, it's a very specific um, part of Africa that uh, we see in Castel Vultur, and especially Nigerians come there, particularly from Benin City. Uh, we have about 90% of Africans who uh, come from that area. Uh, Castel Vulturno has about 25,000 legal inhabitants and approximately 25,000 illegal Nigerians mostly. Uh, and it, it's so difficult to call them marginalized because they represent a very important part of the town. And yes, they do live, those people do live on the right riverbank of the Volturno. There are a lot of empty houses in that area that they have occupied. And uh, the law doesn't really control that, doesn't patrol that area. so. And it's very difficult to patrol, so uh, they occupy uh, their squatters, they occupy those uh, homes. And it was a pleasure to put them on screen because uh, uh, I gave them the opportunity to reflect on, uh, on screen in the film their real life attitudes. Uh, and actually, they live in that, uh, in that area, uh, in the right um, river bank, which is not as chic as the other side. I think we have time for one more question. Yes. Thank you for coming to Toronto. This is a magnificent city. Thank you so much for me. Thank you. Thank you, Toronto. It's an amazing city. It was my first time. It's an amazing city. Uh, thank you for. Your warmth. Yeah. Uh, thanks a lot because I feel, you know, like a very, very good sensation. And I want to say thank you, <laughs> everyone, because it's first. The first screening. screening, yes, it's our first screening, as I said, um, it's very important for, uh, for us too, you know. Um, we want to come back soon, uh, <laughs> and if you want, we have another screening the, the day after tomorrow, okay? Uh, if you are free, if you are off, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to say thank you, thank you very much. Mutual. Thank you so much for bringing your beautiful film and your beautiful uh, presence here. Um, and tell your friends to come to the next screening as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.